good morning god bless you thank you for watching our videos you are amazing we honor you good afternoon good evening wherever you are you are amazing thank you so much thank you for liking our videos in the name of jesus if you are new here my name is ade komi we bring to you gospel content daily by the power of the trinity we love you please we want you to stay with us subscribe to our channel like our videos turn on the notification bell and we pray as you are doing so your life will never be the same again in the name of jesus oh kaya lada ba 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 Father, we thank you for this another day that you have made. Authority in heaven will bless you. Father, speak to somebody today. Heal somebody today. Touch somebody today in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the revelation and knowledge of your word. Thank you, Father, in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. So the word of God for us today, God has given it to you. Possess it. It has been given to you. Possess it in the name of Jesus. Joshua chapter 6 from verse 1. The Bible says, Now Jericho was safely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. Oh, and the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given it into thy hand, Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. Oh, Bashalada, no matter what the situation will be at present, eh, Kalata Bashelede, no matter what the circumstances is at present, it doesn't matter. But God says, I have given it to you. It doesn't matter what you are passing through. God has given it to you. Oh, Bashalada. But he gave an instruction. He gave them an instruction to be able to possess it. Even though the condition was not correct at the moment, but that doesn't mean it doesn't belong to you. But God gave them instruction, verse 3, and he shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once, thus shall that do six days, and seven priests shall bear before the ark, seven trumpets of ram's horn, and seven day, he shall compass the city seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpet, and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall send up every man straight before him. Oh, Shakatalada. It was given to you, but with an instruction. You might it was given to you, but you might need to take a step. It was given to you. There is something you have to do about it. Hey, Shakatalada. If the Lord give you a car. He expects you to go for training, learn how to drive it, learn how to read the signs on the road so that you will not have accidents. The fact that you don't know how to drive a car and God is giving you a car does not mean it doesn't belong to you. It was given to you, but there is something you've got to do. Mashakatalaba. God has given you the admission, but yet he wants you to apply. He wants you to do the prerequisite. He wants you to study where. God has given you the wife, but he wants you to take a step. God has given you the husband. He wants you to take a step. God has given you the children. He has given you the child. He wants you, he wants you to do something about them. He wants you to take care of them. He wants you to train them in the way of the Lord. He wants you to train them in the way they should go so that when they grow up, they will not depart from it. He said, I have given it to you. I see somebody possessing his possession in the spirit. In that name of Jesus, oh, Kayala Baba, begin to possess your possession in the spirit. Father, we thank you. I can perceive it in my spirit. I perceive it in my spirit. Somebody is possessing his or her possession in the spirit. Hey, Shaka Father, let it be. Father, let it be. Let them possess their possession in the name of Jesus. Every hand of the devil, every hand of the evil ones that says you will not possess your possession, I cut them off. My shakatalaba, it has been given to you. Brother, you've got to take a step. You've got to take a step. He will lead you in the way you should go. He will tell you what to do. He told the children of Israel. He gave them instruction how to compassion about the city once a day. How to compassion about the city seven times. And after the seven times, the priest should blow out a particular horn. Hey, Shaka Tayalaba. To possess you, you've got to follow instruction. 
Oh my God, follow what he has said to you. Follow what he has revealed to you. In the name of Jesus, somebody receive grace to follow the instruction. Somebody receive the grace to do it the way he wants you to do it. In the name of Jesus, he has given it to you. Go and possess it. Hey, shaka chaladaba. Look at verse 20, what happened to them? Oh my God, Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bless you. Oh, so the people shouted when the priest blew with the blew with the trumpet and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city every man straight before him and they took the city oh my god somebody you are taking over the city you are taking over that situation you are taking over your possession whatsoever has been seized from your life whatsoever good things that has been seized from your destiny you are taking over god has given it to you possess it in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you for the power in your word. Oh, shakata la da da da. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let it be for somebody. In Jesus Christ's wonderful name, you have prayed. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with somebody. Encourage somebody with the word of God. Sharing can be your own way of evangelism in the name of Jesus. Hey, kataba shalada. God is turning that situation around for your good. It's going to work together for your good in the name of Jesus. I can perceive that in my spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we bless you. Hmm. Are you watching me? Are you still living in sin? You want to give your life to Christ? Or you are here to confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Please say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for sending your word out to me today. Father, please forgive me my sins. Come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. Thank you for answering my prayers for you in Jesus Christ. Wonderful name you have prayed. Hey, you may be seen that prayer, Jenny. Congratulations. You are now a born again Christian. I want to continue to love the Lord, continue to follow Him, continue to do His will, and it shall be well with you. Brethren, you mean so much to us, and I will see you next time. Bye.